I love to take the ferry to Vashon Island. I understand you got to do that and went to Leslie Mackey's house. Mm -hmm. Now, Leslie Mackey is the owner of... The Macrina Bakery okay. and Cafe. We've heard that name a lot. And, we have. And a Leslie, Seattle icon. Yeah, and it was, we knew the weather was going to get nice, so why go to the bakery? Well, let's just go to Leslie's house on Vashon Island and, and, and see, do they really have big kitchens? at their own home. We were about to see it. What a fun recipe we had uh, to share with you here, this almond cake with raspberries and chocolate ganache. Sounds amazing. And we spent the whole day there and you're, you're about to see why. Enjoy this. <laughs> Here is Leslie Mackey, founder of Macrina Bakeries. And I know the location of my own neighborhood on Queen Anne, but you have a few now. We do. We have, well, our original is in Belltown uh -huh. over on First Avenue. And then about five or six years ago, we opened up kind of our flagship baking facility, which is over in Soto. It's on First Avenue South. And you have a recipe you want to share. Yes, I do. What, we have, is, what is this going to be? You know, this is our almond cake. Um, and uh, it's topped with a little bit of chocolate ganache and then a fresh raspberry and chocolate shavings. Mm. What we're going to do is we are going to prepare the tins. And so using a jumbo um, muffin tin, yeah, it works perfect. It's perfect size for it. I'm just going to um, put a little bit of oil right up on here just so that it will release the edges. Perfect. There's a secret right there. There's yeah. number one. And then we're just going to put the muffin, the muffin liner in here. Okay. So we're working with cake flour. And with the cake flour, I'm going to sift that. Got it. And then I'm also going to add a little baking powder and baking soda. Okay. All righty. Now this recipe, is this something fun you created, something that's been passed down from family, or? How you, you know, find? that's a great question. In all honesty, because we've been at it for Be 20 honest. years, I can't remember exactly <laughs> how this came to us, but it's definitely a favorite. Also, we're going to put a little salt in this. It's important with bread as well as pastry. Why is that? Why would you say that about salt? You know, it helps to balance out the flavors. And mm -hmm. in, in bread, it actually um, inhibit, it, it uh, slows the yeast, or the yeast, the proofing process, so mm -hmm. it's really important. But it, it, it balances the flavor of the actual recipe. Don't forget the salt. Yeah. So it's important to, uh, it's definitely important to, to sift this. And we're using the almonds with the skin on them and then toasting them for, oh, about 15 minutes at 350. You just get this really delicious, nutty flavor. Um, and almonds, naturally have a nutty flavor to them, mm -hmm. but it, it comes out more. So anyways, I'm going to mix in, um, I'm going to mix in just with my hand here, you know, uh, the almonds along with the other. So this is our dry mixes. So next we're going to get the liquids together. So we have two eggs. I'm going to move that do over. Do you have chickens here on Vashon Island? I do. Are but these home grown? Um, you know, I'd like to say yes, but my chickens will start producing in, a, in another month. Wouldn't so that be handy? I know. Well, it will be. Got a little bit of yogurt. Now this is a recipe that we adapted using yogurt. Mm -hmm. um, I think originally it probably called for sour cream. So it's just a way, I mean, you'll see that there's a fair amount of butter in it, so it's not necessarily a little cow. What is this? So this, is, <laughs> so this recipe actually calls for um, almond extract. But because I've got such a delicious flavor developed with toasting the almonds, mm -hmm. and I thought it would be fun to put frangelico in. And so you can, I mean, this is what baking and cooking is about, is kind of improvising fun. a little bit, you know, uh, rather than going to the store just to get your, uh, you know, one teaspoon of, of something, you can improvise with. It's the big bottles in kitchens, Leslie, to get my attention, so I always have to ask. So I'm just going to mix this up. And it takes just a little bit of time to get it all mixed up together. That's all emulsified now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set that there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar. This adds the lightness to the, um, to the recipe, mm -hmm. to the cake itself. So we've got a stick and a half of butter. I'm going to cream butter. this butter and sugar for about three to five minutes, mm -hmm. something like that. What we're looking for is a pale color and a light texture. So this looks great. Let me just give you a, a peek at it. It's just the color, it just looks yeah. so white like whipped cream. Yeah. So it is, See it's that quite there? pale and a light texture. Creaming so, the butter. Yep, that's what we're looking okay. for. We are going to introduce the dry mix, mm -hmm. the dry, and also the yogurt. So we're gonna alternate these. And so you don't get lumps in the mix. 
I add, I add a little bit of the um, dry and a little bit of the yogurt. And you kind of create a paste. So let them become friends here a little bit yep, before exactly. we bring out the whole game. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to, the whole key to making delicious cakes uh -huh. is scraping. Because <laughs> if butter gets, uh, if it doesn't get incorporated in, then you get these little uh, pools of butter and it makes a hole in the cake. So it's not a, not a good thing. That's why. Yeah. I've always wanted that. Okay. So, here we go. Add a little more. Add a little more. One more scrape, just to make sure there aren't any butter pockets anywhere. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the eggs. Mm -hmm. We're going to add this in three different additions. So if we were to add it all at once, it wouldn't, it wouldn't emulsify very well. Now, what's our magic word? Got to yep. scrape. Got to scrape. Okay. So look at this nice batter, light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. This is an ice cream scoop. Is an ice cream scoop, and it's very versatile mm -hmm. for uh, doing these little cakes, just like so. Right, and see, look how easy that is. I was thinking it's going to be a real runny batter here, Leslie, but yeah. this is it's holding together nicely and yeah. scooping out into the tin. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. the, the jumbo tin should be fairly consistent. There we go. So we're just going to um, flatten the top just a, just a little bit. I mean, truly, as it bakes, it will kind of settle, mm -hmm. but it'll just help to make it bake a little more evenly. Okay, so let's put these in the oven. There we go. <laughs> now we're going to work on the filling for the cupcakes and then all, or the cakes and then also the ganache. Yeah. So let's start with the ganache because that needs to kind of cool a little bit. Mm -hmm. So ganache, fancy term, um, actually it is whipped cream and chocolate together. I have a combination of semi-sweet and bittersweet chocolate chips. What we're going to do is we're going to scald the cream. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to bring it to a boil quickly. All right, so now what I'm going to do is turn it off. And let's put these chocolate chips in there. Just the heat of the whipped cream will Look melt the chocolate. I mean, the burner is off. Yeah. And look at it, it's, it's, there you go. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is put this, um, it'll cool down a little faster if I put it into this uh, pan here. And there we go. So you can see the, uh, if you want to use the word viscosity, the, th the, 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 uh, oops. You know, it's, it's thickening real quick. Yeah, huh? you bet. And as it cools down, the chocolate uh, will continue to thicken it. Awesome, so we'll just leave that there. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is make the filling, and this mm -hmm. is the surprise factor. So I, I, you know, I don't like dry cake, um, and so by putting a little bit of filling in the center, it just moistens the whole, uh, the whole experience up, so it's really tasty. This will be the oh wow yes, that you're looking for. Yes, exactly, in that's, okay. that's it. All righty, so we are going to toss in a few berries. Just a few. Yeah. Hold it up. Yeah, look at these beautiful berries. So nice. Oh, you know what? We also mm. want to save some pretty ones for garnish. So let's take a gander at these. And we want to have at least eight pretty ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like we've got. That one won't work there. Okay, you can try that. Perfect. <laughs> You're on to me, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, so that we can uh, put this inside the cake, I'm just going to smush these up uh, just a little bit. Okay, dear. Now heaven, we're set. I'm in yeah, heaven. exactly. Here That's, they come. Yeah. Look at those. Wow. So now what we're going to do is these have been cooling mm -hmm. because if we put the cream in a warm cake, uh, it'll just melt and. Been there, done that. Yeah, won't do it again. Exactly. So what we're going to do is just take oh about a, um, I don't know what what do you call that, about a one inch yeah. kind of uh, cake. What do they call them? Donut holes. So mm -hmm. cake hole mm -hmm. out. We're going to put some uh, cream in the center, and then we're going to top it with the ganache. Really? Yeah. We're going to do all that? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't wait. There we go. Watch how this comes together. Now the fun part. We're yeah. going to build it. <laughs> there's there's our, our scoop. special scoop. Okay, so we're going to do that, kind of flatten it. Great. And so with the spatula, what we'll do is we'll just flatten it. We want to keep it off the edges, actually. 
cattywampus. Alrighty, so now we're gonna get the ganache and another scoop. So I'm gonna just put, I just wanna see how, that looks like how just warm a little scoop. it is. And I'm just going to scoot it out to the edges there, just like that. Put it right on top. There we go. Well, and this is, this is how we do our little shavings. This, you can actually make them uh, a little, um, well, that was generous. I, I, I think <laughs> I'm gonna. Right. I'm Just gonna, remember which one's mine. Yeah, <laughs> that one's <Okay>. yours. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put a little less on. There we go. And these kind of knives are awesome because you, they, they, give you, they give you the ability to lift and, and and place something. And this is a block of what chocolate? This is bittersweet chocolate. Bittersweet chocolate, it's a big yeah. old block. Yeah, it's a big old block. I actually like to see the center of the raspberry. I know that uh, French chefs will, will uh, not agree with me. They like to stand them straight up. And put they them will make mm -hmm. them just perfect. And I like to have them. I, I uh, definitely am a rustic European uh, pastry kind of gal. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't do the fancy, fancy French. Pastries. When you were with Julia Child, yes. was that a little much for you over the over the edge, or was she like Leslie? You know what? She is. Um, she likes things rustic. I did pies with her, and pies um, definitely have more of a rustic uh, home, you know, homemade feel to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, but she was she was she was so much fun to work with. She was she was great. <laughs> look so, at that. Look at that. Um, what we'll do is we will. I'm going to place one on the plate, and I think we should try one. What do you think? I mean, do we have to? I know. I think we should go with Why the. Why do you think the, I came in the first place? Yeah, here's the generous <laughs> one. Okay. And there is a sauce, and a little bit of whipped cream, and I think That's nice. I'm going to grab a flower if you. No, you grab yeah, or yeah. If you wouldn't mind grabbing that vase, that would be terrific. What's your flower of choice? Yes, there we go. These little borage flowers, they're beautiful. So you just pull them off, and there you be. So here comes the important part. If I remember, you said the gold was delicious. Yes. Right? Yep. Okay, so we sifted the flour, we scraped the bowl, and do we? Do we meet the gold? Mm, yeah. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Let me you have a try, try too, yeah. There you go, there it is, the almond cake with the raspberry. Mm. and chocolate ganache, and I can do this recipe. I know I can do this. This is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Leslie mm -hmm. Mackey, so much appreciated. Thank you so much for coming in here today. Macrina Bakery there with the three locations in Seattle, yep. and a viewer like you sharing a recipe and how much fun, and look at the results. Uh, it tastes as good as it looks, okay? Look at that. Outstanding. Thank you. <laughs>